Hey guys, it's Erin. Welcome back to my channel. I hate saying that. I feel like it's just so overused that saying. Hi everyone, it's Erin. Nope, it's just kind of a natural thing that's gonna happen. It's been a while since you've seen me. A nine to five job really takes up a lot of your time. My makeup skills have gotten better. Um, and nothing's changed because of clothes and a pair of shoes. I'm going to say that this is a summer haul, but while watching the video, this is a mini haul. I mean, mini. So the first thing I got is this tank top on. It's from Dynamite. It's like a steel gray color. I really like it. It's a very flattering top for me. It's a steel gray color. It's definitely more leaning towards the green, which I didn't think I would ever do, but I really like how it matches my skin tone and my hair color. And it overall, it's just a really nice shirt, especially for summer. The first thing I got is you're gonna recognize this color. Honestly, I've already worn this shirt once this little it's this again once again a steel gray color it looks a bit more green on camera but that's okay it's this little steel gray cropped t-shirt and it's super cute and it goes with these jeans that I just got and I'm just obsessed with it I really like this outfit this outfit I really like this top it's a top that definitely fits my body type and I also got it in white There's nothing else about it but I just needed more I needed a blank white t-shirt for summer and you know what? I might as well go with the crop one because it's really cute and it's really fun. These jeans. I have never put on a pair of jeans and been like, wow, this is something I'm into. This is something I want to wear constantly. I've never felt that way about jeans before. These jeans are also from Dynamite. These are the Claudia jeans from Dynamite. And they're like a mom, they're like one of the mom style jeans. And I'm obsessed with them. They are not skinny. I have them, uh, I have them rolled up at once at the ankle. These are so flattering and they work so well with these shirts. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. And I'm just like obsessed with these shoes. I want to wear them. I want to wear them constantly. I want to wear them out all night. When I'm going partying, I go to a friend's house. If I go out, I've worn them to work. Um, the partying and the going out with friends isn't really something I do a lot or at all. But if I did, then I would. It got one of these thing at Aritzia. This is probably i'm thinking this is like my first ever purchase at aritzia because i can't think of anything in that closet behind me that's from aritzia so i'm going to say this is my first thing from aritzia i don't remember the last time i wore stripes but this is like a cute little tank top but this shirt i like it it's gonna go cute with like almost everything i have like um navy blue and white i grew up wearing that in catholic school but at the same time there are two good colors that work well together and I just like it. It just reminded me of something I used to wear and it just reminds me of like the beach going on vacation. It's just the vibe of that shirt and the feel. And I'm excited to wear it this year. The other pair of bottoms I got are a pair of shorts. Um, I am so, I am so difficult to buy for in shorts, whether someone else is gonna buy it for me, which please don't buy clothes for me because I'm really picky and I'll probably return it. <laughs> I'm like Rachel Green in that way. Um, but yeah, shorts are hard for me to find because I don't like paper bag shorts. I don't like loose shorts. Um, I don't like boxy shorts. I don't like puffy shorts. I like short. <laughs> I like short and sexy shorts. <laughs> Here's the thing. These shorts aren't sexy. They're literally just like the perfect pair of shorts. And I like fitted shorts. Those are the shorts that I go for. I wanted a gray tank top, but I didn't want it as short. As the ones i really have so i wanted like a little bit of a longer one and i have this one <laughs> this this top is so cute and it's just like a regular everyday basic one and this gray it's more it's definitely closer to a white gray than it is a black gray and that's kind of the color i go for i go for more lighter tone colors in neutral land <sighs> especially when it comes to like grays and whites i go for like the brightest of bright or like the lightest of light i also got I thought I'd try it out. I got a brown version. It's a little bit darker in person. Actually, no, it's like one shade darker in person. But I got a brown because I was like, you know what? I really like beiges, I like beiges and taupes. Why not try brown? That's part of their family. And I mean, I think brown looks really nice on me. I have bluey, gray, green eyes. I don't know what color my eyes are. Like if that's a it's a running thing going on in my life. But I got a brown. I just wanted to try it out, see what it's like. I got a forest green shirt. It 
does not match the tank top I'm wearing now. This definitely has more of a blue tinge to it compared to this shirt versus the t-shirt that's steel gray, which this is more green. But this is a very green color. And you know what? I might as well try it out, represent the green as my mom always says, bring the green in your eye. I thought I might try it out. It looks cute, it's different. I don't have a lot of this color in my wardrobe. And it's a tank top and I sweat a lot in the summer. And understands that it's hard to wear a t-shirt when it's really hot outside. Speaking of t-shirts, I got two. I got this crop shirt. It's a white one. Extreme Speed, Racing Champion, Annual Tour. What more could you, what more could you want from this? It just reminded me of Mario Kart and they're literally, I have no other explanation for this shirt other than Mario Kart racing. And it was this, um, one of the only options of shirts because um, I, not I'm not into rappers and that's like a lot of t-shirts at Urban Planet right now lots of like singers and rappers and I mean I could have got a Britney Spears shirt but I already have two and I mean you know the one so the other one I got <laughs> the Boston shirt here's the thing you're probably wondering like Aaron every haul I see from other youtubers are like they bought this nice dress this cute skirt my job, I can wear cute dresses and skirts, but I'm sitting down from nine to five. I want to be comfy. And what I want to wear is a pair of shorts and a t-shirt and a pair of sneakers. I just spit because I'm so determined to tell you guys how much this t-shirt is really comfortable. And it says Boston in the same because Chris Evans is from Boston. And I feel like this shirt called out to me. I just wanted to talk about a little show that happened while I was gone and I didn't get to vlog any of it. Um, there was a little show, it was called Obi-Wan Kenobi and if you guys know Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan is a TV show that happened 10 years after the Star Wars prequels. What was what was Darth Vader like in his prime? And let me tell you, it was ravishing to watch. Should I really be saying that about Darth Vader? What does that say about me if I tell you guys how much Hayden Christensen really brought Darth Vader to life in this series? Because guys, he was in it and I was happy about it because we got to see him as Anakin a few times. My goal for the last like couple years has been to find an Anakin Skywalker like t-shirt and since Obi-Wan came out I obviously knew that Hot Topic was going to have <laughs> was going to have shirts obviously this is it here's the thing it's Darth Vader but in the eye is Obi-Wan is this not like a perfect shirt for me it is it, it, it's a good it's a good shirt and it looks great in white jeans you guys have probably seen this shirt in my outfit of the week that was may so my my, my goal in life has been to find a shirt with um anakin skywalker on it hayden christensen because i i love him i found it 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 has both of them on it but here's the thing they're both an iconic duo and i'm okay with them sharing it <laughs> why oh my gosh the picture on this shirt is tanner than I am in real life. I need a spray tan. That should be a vlog. I should make that a vlog. Let's get spray tans on a vlog. But yeah, I, I kind of just wanted to share. I just wanted to represent because I know Hayden Christensen went through a bit of a rough patch when the prequels came out saying that Darth Vader, like Anakin was like not meant to be acted that way or he played him wrong. The thing about Anakin to Darth Vader is that you, you took this very sweet, kind person and turned him into like the most villainized villain out there. Like, I think he played him perfectly. And on top of that, he was cute. So I mean, how great is that? And then you know, Gregor is a great Obi-Wan because he just is. I mean, if he wasn't, he wouldn't have come back and blue. This pair of shoes, I had seen a couple people online wear them. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to Kids Foot Locker because I have a size three foot. My feet are tiny as heck. I got a pair of shoes. I tried them on. I was like, you know what? Do I like them? I kind of like how they look. They're different. They're cute. They're fun. So I bought them and I really like them. The first two or three times I wore them, I got really bad blisters. But that was because I did not break these shoes and I just kind of, you know, I didn't wear these shoes for like a couple hours. I went and I wore them for three nine hour shifts for three eight hour shifts, which wasn't good because I need to like slowly break them in. And I think I broke them in very fast because I don't get the blisters anymore. But if you can't tell, they're the Nike blazers. I am more of an Adidas girl. Um, I wear Adidas shoes, like my favorite trainers in the whole entire world are my Adidas sneakers that I wear. They're white and they go with everything. And I'm looking at them right now on my floor. 
but I would never wear these if I was like going to like work out. But I really like these shoes. I like I, I like the black track ones that stands out. I like the tongue. The tongue is kind of cool. I like how it says nice on the back. I love I love that they're they're super white. But I also like like the light taupe beige, the like the light taupe color that's like going around like um, the tip of the shoe. And I really like them. I don't I haven't worn a pair of high tops since my Vans, my high top Vans, which I don't wear a lot at the moment. I feel like my Vans they come out a lot during the fall and winter, but I feel like these are shoes I can wear like all year round. I'm just kind of afraid to get them dirty. I don't want to get them dirty at all because I really like them. I think they're really cute at the same time. And I feel like they would go great. They look great with the Dynamite jeans. The Claudia Dynamite jeans. So. That's a squeaking noise I don't want to deal with right now. I feel like I should go. I'm going to go edit this video. I can't wait to upload it. I will see you guys all in another video. Bye.